In this video, we're going to take this lovely young lady, dress her up, make her a bit Christmassy, and do a little bit of a time lapse image taking us through setup, render, and post. I'm just using symmetry here to mirror the pose so that she's facing in the direction that I want her to face. I use the active pose tool here to move the hand into place where I want it, but of course that means I've got to pin her right hand in place on the window frame. When I then start moving the, the gizmo to, to move the left hand, I notice that her body's moving too much, so I also therefore put a pin in the top of her back, the top of her spine. This is now me adding the main light that's going to light our model into scene. It's a spotlight from within the cottage pointing downwards at her and looking to apply a Rembrandt light onto her face. I'll point out what you're looking for in a moment when you're doing a Rembrandt light. This is me placing a fill light to lighten up the back of our model so that we can make her out against the background. Now we can also work as a rim light in that sense, but I do actually add one of those in later in the video. And this is me adding an actual rim light into the scene, although I admit it didn't have as much of an impact as what I would have hoped.
the sand to dress has a deforce weight modifier upon it that limits the amount of movement that happens at the top of the dress when we run the deforce sim. Uh, so this is just me quickly reweighting the, the the modifier so that the top of the dress will actually be affected by the deforce simulation when we run it. <laughs> 